So we're here at Mobile World Congress. So who are you? Uh, my name is Karthik Ranjan, and I'm with uh, ARM. And uh, I look after our relationship with operators. So what does that involve? So we work with uh, both mobile operators as well as uh, uh, broadcasters and, uh, and cable, satellite, and IPTV. So there's lots of things going on there, right? Yeah, there is. Uh, one of the interesting things I wanted to talk to you about is uh, bringing open platforms and open standards to the set-top box world. This market has been plagued with legacy middleware and proprietary software, which didn't see the innovation that we've been seeing in the area of mobile, uh, specifically around the innovations you've seen with, with things like Android, where you have this broad ecosystem of applications. So is it uh, video, is it multimedia, is it, what is it? Yeah, so what we're doing is essentially, uh, as members of DLNA, uh, we are working to bring HTML5 uh, as a platform to the set-top box based on ARM-based devices. So ARM has done a substantial amount of work in uh, making WebKit optimized for the ARM architecture. And what we're doing is leveraging the work that we've done within WebKit to bring that to DLNA and the pay TV market. And so what we have done is taken uh, a, a browser-based platform and essentially uh, put the hooks in it with, that are defined within HTML5 so that it's suitable for pay TV operators. So enabling things like operators to do teletext, uh, closed captioning, and uh, secondary audio programming, which uh, operators need to do. But the beauty of that is uh, we, there's no operator-specific customizations. And so any operator can use HTML5 to s deliver video content with their electronic program guide and run it on any ARM-based device. And so we've picked a very innovative ARM-based device uh, from one of our partners, FXI Technology, uh, as the reference platform. And uh, what it is, is we've taken a mobile chipset that's in the Samsung Galaxy uh, S2 and Galaxy Note uh, phone, and they have put it in a stick. And so what you have here is the device called the Cotton Candy. And if you open it up, you'll notice two interfaces. One is uh, a USB here, and one is for HDMI. And the USB, believe it or not, is for power, and the HDMI connects to your TV. And the beauty of this, this is the set-top box. The big clunky thing you have under your TV can be replaced by this device here. And with the work that ARM is doing with HTML5 together with FXI and Cable Labs, uh, you will now be able to receive pay TV services using this device. So the HDMI stick category is important for ARM. It's a big it's, it's cool. Absolutely, and, and the main thing is you, it can be done, I, I think is an important point. Um, while using ARM technology brings you the rich software ecosystem, I think the other important point to carry forward is that ARM's low power technology enables you to use things like USB to power this. I mean, it was unfathomable to think that a set-top box could be powered by USB, but that is now possible because of ARM's low power uh, uh, technology. So it's uh, two amps, maybe one amp, you know, it could basically run. Uh, um, this yeah. is 500 milliamps. This 500 is bog milliamps. standard that's USB a, connector. That's totally standard USB. You don't yeah. need a power... Oh, you can power it from the back of your TV. You can power the full set-top box. So we've seen HDMI sticks run Android, but that's uh, kind of optimized just for tablets. So what kind of software do you are you talking about when you say that this is the set of bugs. Ah, so uh, a very good question. So what we have chosen for this project for HTML5 is uh, Ubuntu as, as, as an OS running with Linaro. And on top of that, we have a Qt WebKit based uh, browser platform. What is a Qt based browser platform? What does that mean? Um, so Qt is an open source uh, framework. And part of that is uh, it, it includes WebKit as the core browser engine. And Qt provides the Chrome. So basically, you're suggesting that the whole set-top box 
experience goes through the browser. Through exactly, the exactly. And all of it just works through the browser. Correct. And in the future, um, you know, the, the, this of, of course lets you uh, render your guide and navigate your TV channels. But with new technologies which are coming down the pipe, like WebRTC, you'll be able to make video calls, SIP calls. Uh, for operators who want to expand their service beyond mobile, uh, we believe that HTML5 is a fantastic platform for communications uh, through WebRTC. And the other thing I'd like to add is WebGL is certainly making its way into browsers. And we believe that WebGL will provide the next generation rich 3D user interfaces, uh, which, which, which you're going to see on, on TVs. And that's relevant for laptop devices, for uh, any smartphone with the HDMI output. Uh, you want to, and tablets with keyboards, you want to have like the full experience in ARM. Exactly. This will, the, the, the beauty of the browser is it's cr cr cross platform, and, it, and as long as you're working within the context of the standards, it'll work cross platform. How far are we from this uh, being everywhere? Um, well, I, I, I think you know you're you're seeing operators uh, trial it now, and so I think within the next few years you're you're going to really start to see some of these uh, uh, get to deployment. And uh, what can be done with Android to make it more interesting in a, that kind of device? Well, um, our partner FXI Technology is, uh, is 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 using Android for for these type of devices. I think you know the platform is 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 really up to choice whether you want uh, Android based apps or HTML5 based applications.